As we continue to celebrate Black History Month, this week we want to honor Jacqueline Stone, a woman with nearly 35 years of experience in law. She's been selected Person of the Year by the Richmond Times Dispatch and has earned National Women in Law Lifetime Achievement Awards by two leading lawyer publications. But that just scratches the surface as to why she's so highly regarded. When I started at the firm in the, the early 80s, diversity wasn't anything you really talked about. When Jacqueline Stone joined the law firm of McGuire Woods, headquartered in Richmond as an associate in 1985, she was the only black female attorney there at the time. But she says she wouldn't be the only one for very long. She made it her mission to change that dynamic. I pretty quickly got involved in recruiting and mentoring and, and really helping the pipeline of attorneys of color and women coming into the legal profession. But Stone is more than a recruiter. Her area of expertise is on legislative work on government relations, regulatory matters, and business immigration law. Nine years into her employment in 1994, Stone was elected partner at McGuire Woods, becoming the first black woman partner in a major law firm in the entire state of Virginia. I was quite surprised and very honored and, and pleased because I felt as though my input was valued. My role here had a meaning. She wouldn't stop there. Stone would also become the first black person to serve on McGuire Woods' board of partners, the governing body of the firm, which she calls an extraordinarily wonderful accomplishment. Then there are the accolades. Stone has won numerous awards and even has one named in her honor, courtesy of her law firm, for diversity and inclusion. Her most recent came this past January, where Stone won Best Mentor in the Country by the American Lawyer Magazine Industry Awards. I was absolutely shocked. I really, really did not expect that, but again, feel very, very proud. Stone credits her love of law and opening doors for others to her father, William T. Stone, who himself was a lawyer in Williamsburg and opened the city's first integrated law office back in 1964. In 1968, he became the first black judge in the Williamsburg area, which also made him one of the earliest black judges in the state. He was very committed to his career and to to helping people, serving others, serving the community. My mother and father both have been tremendous role models. And the footsteps Jackie Stone is following, she says, have allowed her to help hundreds of others to go on to become lawyers and lead legal departments or even become deans of law schools, professors, even judges. Stone says it's seeing those achievements for those men and women of color that drive her to continue to reach the next generation. I think as early as we can really get young people thinking about what they can accomplish, then you've given them so much more opportunity to actually succeed in that regard. And Stone also has a college prep and workforce development program called Partnership for the Future, which provides education and training for local high school students.